This is 100,000 modern soldiers. And this is 100,000 modern insurgents. Let's go ahead and see what happens when these two end up fighting. Well, an explosive amount of fire obviously comes out of both sides, and it seems as though the insurgents are slowly but surely getting absolutely shredded by incoming modern soldier fire. And when I say shredded, I mean shredded. They are getting destroyed here. So clearly the modern soldiers are very powerful compared to the insurgents. What if we put them inside of a fortress and made it so there was a huge number of insurgents versus a tiny number of modern soldiers? Well, let's find out. Okay, so we have ourselves 100,000 relief modern soldiers coming in to reinforce the castle that is surrounded by 3 million insurgents, but inside of the castle itself is an additional 70,000 modern soldiers as well as there should be some flat guns, but I don't see them. I might have messed up on the flat guns. Okay, here we go. We do have the cannons in this thing now. Beautiful. So. The inside of the fortress now has some better defenses to help them out as well. Um, and it's really going to be about the interior of the fortress, I think, here, since it is going to be a bunch of ranged units fighting. So why don't we go ahead and get this thing going and uh, the modern soldiers start firing out. They do have a longer range than the insurgents, so they should be able to get at least a little bit of fire in before the insurgents actually reach them here, which is going to be probably fairly crucial here. Uh, this is pretty baller, actually, just seeing all of these insurgents just sprinting on forward and the modern soldiers just going absolutely ham. Some explosions rocking the walls here. Um, hopefully, these artillery pieces can get some serious kills because they are going to need them in the long term for this battle. Look at this. The amount of destruction on the battlefield. Already 33,000 dead insurgents out here. That's a crazy amount, and we are starting to lose some modern soldiers. We're at about 66 dead modern soldiers here i think it's going to be the guys on the exteriors here first that are going to be going down uh, but the guys on the interior should be safe and then it's going to be sort of like an indoor assault of the interior with choke points being held by a heck of a lot of modern soldier gunfire it should be pretty incredible if you guys do enjoy this video please be sure to hit that like button it really does help me out a lot in the youtube algorithm uh subscribe if you have not already and comment down below what other mods you guys want to see added there was a b1 battle droid mod added and a new 65th course on guard mod but the 65th course on guard mod does not work um and the first one didn't work the second one doesn't work i'm really hoping whoever makes the next clone trooper mod knows what they're doing a little bit <laughs> not to be offensive but uh yeah it'd it just be great i keep getting baited with the workshop thinking like oh this is the one this one's actually gonna work and then it never does and it makes me very very sad uh so yeah hoping hoping for one that actually works this time around that would be pretty freaking awesome um i'm excited about the b1 droid mod though apparently that one does work i haven't tried it out because the clone one didn't work and i was like i don't want to do a battle with just droids and no clones that's super boring uh, either way, let's get out of slow motion here, uh, if we can. There we go. It's uh, full speed ahead right now. Um, and these modern soldiers are defending. Most of the flat guns getting shot off of the rooftop because those are pretty easy to kill uh, from down here because they're just so big. They've got such a big hitbox. It's really not too challenging or anything along those lines. We are seeing some massive casualties for the modern soldiers around the exteriors now, just as we predicted. Um, and even up top a little bit, these ramparts finally succumbing to a little bit of fire here oh the brutality of it all boys the brutality of it all the insurgents though i'm guessing have a lot of losses yes all right we're looking at 62,000 dead insurgents and 8,000 dead modern soldiers not too shabby all things considered oh we were still in slow-mo wait is there now multiple slow-mo versions? No, okay, I, I don't know how we were still in slow-mo there. That was a little bit confusing. Let's go in slow-mo again, though, to check out these guys over here. All right, so the reinforcements are still coming in over this way uh, for the modern soldiers. It seems like they are dicing out a large number 
of these insurgents, but they themselves are taking a few losses as well. Uh, these guys are going to be crucial in basically just driving away insurgents from the fortress. Uh, these guys might not hold out for forever since they're just kind of out in the open with very little cover, um, but as long as they're driving away a few hundred thousand insurgents from the main castle defense, it'll help out the modern soldiers at the main castle quite a bit, and not to mention any additional insurgent kills that these guys can manage to acquire is going to be pretty major for them. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty big deal, just getting a few tens of thousands of kills out here. That's, that's major. Um, either way, we are looking at 100,000 dead insurgents now and about 18,000 dead modern soldiers. We're getting to the point where now the insurgents are managing to fire into the fortress a little bit here. However, their arc of fire will end and then it's going to be them having to sort of like come through these choke points and deal with the modern soldiers who are around the corners firing out at them from the sides. It'll be a pretty interesting little development there. Let's go in as a modern soldier right here. Start taking a few pot shots here and there. Very nice. I'm not getting any kills and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it only does 30 damage per shot, but you do get the, the triple shot, so it's about 90 damage per shot, just about. However, the problem comes in is that like each shot is probably hitting a different insurgent out there, and there's literally millions of them out there. Uh, so while we might be doing some damage to a few of them, we're not actually doing enough damage to kill anyone, if that makes sense. I, I don't know. <laughs> For America, let's go! Yeah, buddy! Very nice! All right, either way, the interior defense does seem to be holding up, though, at these choke points. This is going to be a problem out here. This is not really much of a choke point. The choke point will only start over in this area here, um, so that'll be a little bit more tricky. Also, a lot of the flat guns are dead, which is not great. There's still a few holding out over here, so that'll be good, especially once these guys start, like, coming in majorly. Oh, they're creating quite the body pile over here. That could be a big problem, actually. If the body piles reach the tops here... We're going to be looking at a lot of dead modern soldiers on the other side. That that could be a nightmare scenario here. Either way, we are looking at 230,000 dead insurgents and 31,000 dead modern soldiers. Let's check out these uh, reinforcements again. The reinforcements seem to be tearing it up, baby. Yeah, look at this. Actually, on an open field, it seems like they tend to do extremely well against these types of enemies uh, that basically can't range as far as them. That's that's actually really, really nice. They have taken some losses here, obviously. I mean, they're not getting out of it unscathed. Uh, but they're they're taking on a lot of insurgents and beating up a lot of these insurgents, like getting some dubskis against them. It's pretty beautiful. They're doing well. Oh, not so much over here. Over here, they are dying. I think this might be a dying breed over here. That's a bit of a yikes. Okie dokie. Why don't we do a little time lapse of the dying modern soldiers over this way, and then uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, the reinforcements got surrounded, and I think that is what is basically destroying them. The section over there died out, um, and now it's the bigger section, which is also dying out, and them getting surrounded hasn't helped at all. Um, hoping they can get some more kills before they fall. The defenders are almost at 100,000 dead, which is not good. That means only 70,000 are left alive, um, and they are holding out. I mean, they're, they're doing a decent job over here, um, but they, they need all of these choke points basically to survive. It's a pretty big ask. <laughs> it is a very, very big ask. So it'll be, it'll be a challenge for sure. Um, we are looking at about 500,000 dead insurgents, though, which ain't too bad. Why don't we go over here and we can watch this battle unfold as the insurgents sort of come tumbling through this doorway, um, which should be kind of interesting, I think, to watch. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that and we can watch as these guys potentially die out as well. Just trying to get a good angle on it so we can really like sort of see all right this looks good Let, let's do this for a little bit in a time lapse i think it'll be kind of cool um especially if they have enough bodies to pile up to the very top of the walls and then we're going to see the insurgents come up over the walls and i think all of these modern soldiers will be absolutely destroyed at that point Okay, boys, we're at the point in the battle where it's just going to be a slugfest. So, all the modern soldiers over here, dead. There's 40,000 of them in here, and they're still fighting against 2.4 million. That's a lot. However, I mean, they are getting way more kills per second than uh, the other boys, so that that's certainly good for them. You know, we, we like that. That's very nice. Let's see if they can uh, make something happen with it, though. That's the... 
That's the real thing. Taking some pot shots with this dude. He's dead. Okay, rip. Um, yeah, it's it's more about just can they survive at this point um, going up against these guys. I don't know. I, don't, I genuinely, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's going to be very, very rough, but potentially they could do it. Let's do some more time lapses. I'll move the camera around a, a good bit to get different angles and stuff, but it should be pretty cool. I, I'm liking the way this battle is turning out. I mean, definitely the modern soldiers have done a lot during this. A lot, a lot. But it might just be too overwhelming of a force. I might have overestimated how much better the modern soldiers were than the insurgents. Um, so yeah, I might, might have overestimated a little bit, but you know, sometimes we do that. And it just ease what it is, boys. Okay, big events here. We have seen this area get destroyed now by the insurgents. Now the insurgents are moving in. We've still got tons of modern soldiers within the castle walls itself holding out. Even some flat guns in here too, which is cool. They've held out really strongly here, but these guys might get over the top pretty soon. I imagine the same might happen over here. Actually, it's not that close over here. Interesting. Um, but yeah, the things are going south for the modern soldiers to say the least. Why don't we do a time lapse right here so we can potentially see these insurgent soldiers sort of like coming up over the top in a big wave. I think once that happens, all these guys below are going to be getting like wiped out and it could be big trouble. Also keep an eye on the back area over here uh, where we might see insurgents coming barreling on through here, getting in and uh, wiping out some modern soldiers from behind. Right now we are at 650,000 dead insurgents and 138,000 dead modern soldiers. Modern soldiers holding out extremely well under the circumstances. Well, let's see if they can maybe carry home a victory. I'm not entirely sure that will happen, but just maybe, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right, guys, somehow this bridge is still not all the way up to the top. I don't know how they're managing to sustain this, honestly. We're at 679,000 dead modern soldiers, or sorry, dead insurgents, and 142,000 dead modern soldiers. There's still 25,000 modern soldiers left alive at this point. We're also getting bridges built over here, too. Wow. Okay, why don't we do a long time lapse right here and that way we can capture both gates here that are of the biggest threat of a bunch of insurgents coming through also what about this gate this gate is also somewhat bridging okay there's no we could do a bird's eye view angle here we can see all three gates and potentially see the insurgents all coming through let's do a long time lapse of this and potentially uh to the end of the battle we'll see i'll let it run for like an hour how about that let's do it boys All right, so it's been like an hour, dude, and the modern soldiers are still holding out somehow. Oh no, no they're not. They're, they have two soldiers left alive. I thought these were still modern soldiers. All right, they must have two modern soldiers glitched somewhere, uh, <laughs> but they did lose. They did get almost a million kills though, just wasn't enough, uh, and they lost 167,000. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope you did enjoy it. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what else you'd like to see. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.